Boys are just taught from a young age, get up, get better, quit your crying. You're not tall enough, fast enough, strong enough, handsome enough, cute enough, none of that matters. Get to work. So imagine if you've been hearing that since you were little in a sport or with your dad or your uncle or the world telling you, we do not care. We women are coddled. They're there. It's okay. Everybody's beautiful, body positivity, whatever. It's fine. Have as many kids as you want to, whatever is accepted. So we are very different when we approach and then we come together and we realize, oh, wow, the world doesn't revolve around us. So I just wanted to say that, ladies, if you have a man who is speaking out about something, you'd be good to listen because it'll get to a point where he'll just stop talking. And then soon after that, he will check out maybe physically, uh, but definitely emotionally. What would you like? All right. Welcome to Lifestyle by SK, where wine, cigars, relationships create a tape of extraordinary experience. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is for you all today because this is definitely something that needs to be touched on as you can see what this lady was talking about in the video. Now, her points that she made were very crystal clear, and there is a difference in the way that young boys and young girls are raised when they're growing up. The girls tend to end up, their young girls tend to end up getting more nurturing than the young boys because the young boys are always taught to be tough, don't cry, get over it, and move on. Now, as they grow older, you can also see some other examples of that. When it comes to higher education, you will oftentimes see the young girls saying they want to go off to school. They want to get a master's degree, a doctorate or whatever, or some other kind of graduate degree. And everybody in the family seems to be so excited about that, which that's a good thing because that definitely shows that she has the family support. Now, a young man who will probably likely travel that same path if he does get a bachelor's, master's, a graduate degree, whether it be master's or PhD, EDD, or whatever, then the family dynamic, as far as them congratulating him, is not going to be the same type of enthusiasm because boys are always taught to go out, work hard, protect, and get things done. Now, let's break this down uh, to our community, as I always like to do, people. I always like to try to make the positive videos about the Black community because a lot of the content that is out there about us online is definitely creating some stereotypes that people obviously believe across the board and think that every Black person thinks the way. And then that's not entirely true because there are some successful marriages out there. There are some successful nuclear families out there, mother, father, husband, wife, man, woman, uh, boy, girl, um, and, and two kids and a home. That is what we are definitely trying to get back to. Now, here's where this can benefit the most. You always have to have the balance in the household. You have the mother who is going to provide more nurturing to the kids. She's supposed to wholeheartedly. However, the mother is going to do more of the girly girl type things with a young daughter, maybe take her to get her nails done, showing her the ropes of what it feels like and what it's like to grow into womanhood. The father, on the other hand, he is going to be harder on his son because he wants to make sure that he uh, makes sure that his son definitely has the masculine energy that he needs. He's going to make sure that the, that the little boy knows how to protect himself, how to protect his family, how to provide for his family. They may even go on a father and son trip such as hunting or go off camping or doing a little bit much more masculine things as they're growing up. Now, both of these sides are going to go in their natural state in that regard. By doing that, that allows that that particular family, they're focused on, therefore, for their kids to grow up one day to meet somebody else whose parents raised them in a similar way and makes them know they get together, get their families going on and moving and creating generation or creating more generations after that. And that is the most definitely the way that it needs to be. It has to happen that way without any further points made in that regard. So when you're looking at that particular video, of what she did yes there are boys do have the tendency to have the needle turn a little bit harder on them pushing them more towards the work side as opposed to the nurturing side is what she has discussed uh, there now once we wrap all of this up as i always talk about on the channel definitely want to make sure that we get into as well we're going to see this in further videos that, that i do 
but I always talk about the family because that is very important for you to build your legacy, building it, getting the foundation, having your home, both you and your wife are uh, putting your resources together to build your household and things like that. As long as we can stick to that particular thing and stay on the right track, that will cut out all this other nonsense from all the other videos that I all, that I like to also talk about, which is the the women who want the service package in relationships, and you also have the women who want to use men to for them to pay for everything and the me 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 and everything is mine. And this is not you want you want to make sure parents as we go in and we're raising the kids that you are letting your kids know what's out there in the world. You also are letting them know that, hey, the mothers are definitely need to be focused on teaching the daughter not only how to dress, how to carry herself with respect and with grace and also what are her expectations are going to be in marriage. The men. Definitely teaching your sons how to be phenomenal husbands, how to how to make make sure that he provides for his family, making sure that he is the in the best position that he could be in. So therefore, when he gets with somebody's daughter, they can put what they've learned together to instill in their kids to make this a continuously generational thing. And this is not just financial. This has got to do with the mind. As well, too, but we definitely need this because our culture, the black community, is always single mom gets with deadbeat a dude, and then it just creates a generational thing down the line. It just keeps repeating itself over and over and over and over again, and we do not need that. We need to get back to the basics, getting our families together, staying together, and creating that generational path for our future family and generations. So people, like, listen, and subscribe to the channel, Lifestyle by SK, Wine, Cigars, Relationships, with a Taste of Extraordinary Experience. You all have a good one.